we have Sena with us to help finish chapter 7 today. What's our chapter today? Matthew chapter 7. And our verses. Verses 24 through 29. Great. Let's begin. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the flood came, and the wind blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Beautiful. You did a great job, Sena. Thank you. Thank you, Sena. Thank you for reading. Thank you for finishing off chapter 7 for us. Now, Jesus says that building on a rock is better than building on sand. I haven't done much real building on rocks, but I've done some building on sand and it's usually pretty fun. Making sand castles, using a bucket, a little shovel, maybe some cups to get some different shapes, some driftwood to make a moat and a bridge and and shells for windows. It's fun, but I wouldn't really want to live in it. I mean, first of all, I've never made one big enough. And second of all, when a big wave comes, my whole sand castle crumbles pretty fast. So when a person is building a home for real, they need to make sure that the ground is strong so that the house has a good foundation. Without a strong foundation, it could crumble pretty fast. So why is Jesus talking about building on a strong foundation? Well, it's because the way we believe, our faith, is a type of foundation in our life. If our foundation is strong, then our life will be strong and we will be strong and we won't crumble. Our Orthodox Christian faith is a very strong faith. It is a faith built on a rock. It has stood strong since Jesus started it 2,000 years ago. And when we live our life as good Orthodox Christians, as good followers of Jesus, then we are strong too. And we won't crumble. So thank you, Sena. Thanks again for reading and for finishing chapter 7 for us. I'm Father Alexis. And remember, Christ is in our midst.